Hi, this is Lisa Baudouin from Lisa's Chat Room. Today we're doing the review of my fence so far. It's November 7th, 2022. Before I begin, I will have to state, and I do so in every video, that what I do, I do at my own risk and peril, and so shall you. If you watch this video, you are actually automatically agreeing that I can't be responsible for you or your actions. That's first thing. Second thing, when putting up a fence, I recommend that you check with your permit office in your city and make sure that you have a permit. I do have my permit and it was a little costly but it is worth it. So in review I had to put this up because of the neighbor with her dogs. It has worked really good and it's weird because until I put the last angle piece up it was kind of so-so. So as I progress it gets good because what happens is that dog noise, the vicious dog mauling and stuff, this must have to do with acoustic. It bounces off this fence and goes back to her, <laughs> kinda, and then out to the front. So I do hear the dogs, but it doesn't sound like they're in my house anymore. It sounds like they're actually kind of across the street, which is great. That was the whole point of this. The other thing that I'm elated about is I actually made a mistake when I put in a post holder. Now here's the post holder slot. So if you wanna watch how you do that, there are other videos on my channel here that you can look at. The whole process of me putting up this fence I had made a mistake and how I got it out was just using a car jack which I'm elated because if this neighbor moves or maybe someday the new neighbors if there's new neighbors they decide to put up a fence of their own well guess what I can take this down or if I sell this house and the people that buy my house would have 10 dogs and they'd get along great then they could take this down so that's great I, it's great news and actually I'm elated about that because that means I could always use these fence pieces in my backyard as well for whatever I want. Anyway, point is, is I can only go six foot to there. And then I had to come down 30 inches. Now, if you're looking at that little tiny post there, actually it's a little shorter than 30 inches. Now, I'm gonna tell you my plans, but I just wanted to first show you, this is how far I've gotten. So I decided to just level it down and it took me two times to do that and it's not easy and you're seeing shadows under the fence so it's pretty close to the same as these honest i've done what i can and you can see the boards are coming up and they are meeting the thing i had to do here is i had to put on this so i you know it's not ideal and I got to think of maybe something else some other strategy but this works fine and it's bolted into the the boarding it's bolted into there which I can see I got to come out here with my drill because it looks like it kind of came out so I got to get that or maybe I didn't get it in enough it's got to come forward but it's bolted in pretty darn good this is really really strong bolts uh, hex bolts and then here I've got the L brackets the thing is, is I, I need to go get the L brackets that are the right size, but for now, this is fine. The inspector said as long as I change them out and get them to where they're supposed to be, you know, they prefer to have two screws in here. And these are, this is just a, like a one and a quarter inch screw, and this is like a three inch screw going into the post. So here's some of the things I would say. First of all, what I should have done, you have writing on them. <laughs> okay. First of all, watch your posts and turn them around so you don't have to look at that writing, okay? Or at least turn the right side up. I didn't look. Also to these, you know, I was in a hurry to get this up. So I didn't take and clean these like I would have cleaned these had I taken my time. The bolts are working really, really well. I think that other one, it's not loose. I think I just didn't get it in far enough. So that's one of the things. The second thing is it's difficult to use these post holders because the way I did it, I did it one at a time because I cut these. I literally cut the fence like here, here, and here to move them here because I'm 60 and they're heavy. I had to do it one at a time. If I would have done it over, I would have run a line, a pre-line before I started this because these things are like angled and so there's the bottom is very small and then it gets wider I would have had a line going this way on some spikes and as I went I'd keep the line but I would just move the spikes over 
you know what I'm saying I think you do you just would tie another line here and take the longer line off but you'd keep spiking it so that they are completely straight because that was one of the most stressful things is what happens if it's not straight so but because I had to take that one post out and I think it was this one I now know that I can take them all out so I can take them out I could use these in the backyard if I wanted to if these neighbors move again or if someone buys my house then they could take them out totally up to them now so here's the angle the plan for next year is first of all to finish this piece off here because this needs this needs a piece here and then I can go up to here 48 inches I can run a lattice I can do fencing 30 inches and then lattice the extra 18 inches and that's what I'm gonna do so I'll probably start about here and the lattice will run going this way you know kind of like a rectangle but going down it'll run this way and then the fence regular fence will be underneath it but that's my plan is to finish this off but I think you know and the funny thing is he did say he goes you know you did a pretty good job now that last post is very very crooked to repair it what I'll do is I'll take that I have a used piece of 4x4 four four that's just a couple feet tall and I put it in there and then I pound that thing in if you don't hit it straight on it will angle it is a pain you have to literally stop what you're doing every once in a while and check to see if it's level and I really didn't have time there was a bunch of people out here I just wanted to get it up before you know it got really cold and so but what I will do is I will come out here on a quiet day and I will probably repair it I mean I really like it I love my fence my issue is I don't have much room in my driveway and now the squirrels and the animals get on here which means they get on my car <laughs> it they could get on my car so I will put up some kind of squirrel guard on the top and here and I was gonna have lights hang here there's just not enough room this is a very thin thin driveway so I can barely get out of my car now as it is that's what makes me so angry about this it's like I've spent quite a bit of money. The last video should tell you how much this cost me. I think right now it's, well, each one is about $55 to $60 each panel. Each one of these is somewhere right under $20. And then, of course, the screws, the hex screws, and the L brackets, and these brackets. And these brackets I got at Home Depot, by the way, if you're wondering. I got them at Home Depot. I got these at Home Depot. The fence. And the posts I got at Menards because it was cheaper. That's it. It's the end of the video here. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again next time in Lisa's chat room.